Welcome back to The Legal Brief, the show where we still crush the various legal myths and misinformation surrounding various areas of the gun world. I'm your host, Adam Kraut, and today we're talking about a new bill that's been introduced in Congress that would require micro-stamping technology to be added to new pistols. The new Bloodline series of AR-15 barrels from Roscoe Manufacturing combines their years of industry experience making barrels for OEM use and brings that straight to you, the consumer. Using high quality materials and coatings, they make sure that the products they make hold up to hard use. Available now in 5.56 NATO, 300 Blackout, and soon in 9mm, they have the barrel to complete your custom build the right way. To get 10% off your barrel, use the code TGC10 at RoscoeManufacturing.com. Are you concerned about the NRA and the direction it's heading? Want to ensure someone who represents your interests sits on the board of directors? If you're an NRA life member, an annual member for the past five years, or know someone who is, head on over to AdamKraut.com to get a petition to place me back on the ballot for the board of directors in 2018. Even with a Republican-controlled Congress and White House, certain opponents of the Second Amendment continue to push their agenda. The newest iteration of this nonsense is found in House Bill 3458, the MICRO Act. As you probably guessed, MICRO is an acronym standing for Make Identifiable Criminal Rounds Obvious. Whoever thought of that should really look for a new job. I mean, seriously, that's just terrible. The bill would require that any pistol manufactured or imported after the effective date, assuming it were passed, to be able to microstamp ammunition. The bill goes on to say that a pistol is capable of microstamping if a microscopic array of characters that identify the make, model, and serial number of the pistol is etched into the breech face and firing pin of the pistol, and when ammunition is fired from the pistol, the characters are copied from the breech face and firing pin onto the cartridge case of the ammunition. I think it's fairly evident that someone who knows absolutely nothing about guns drafted this legislation. I don't get how you would get something on the breech face to imprint since that would require extremely hot ammo, which would likely result in guns blowing up, or the breech face would have to move to imprint the back of the cartridge, technology that I'm not aware of. Additionally, the legislation would make it a crime for a person to remove, obliterate, or alter the microstamp code or microstamping capability of a firearm. It does have a provision that would allow the replacement of a worn out or damaged firing pin. So now police are gonna have to be issued a jeweler's loop to check out firing pins. They do have vision insurance, right? That's a thing. It appears that federal lawmakers learned nothing from California's debacle with microstamping, which is still the subject of litigation. To my knowledge, there's not one firearm out there that was able to comply with California's insane requirements. In fact, the list of approved handguns on their roster has been steadily shrinking. And yes, to those of you that live in states where you have freedom, California actually has a list of approved handguns that can be sold in the state separate from the micro-stamping nonsense that they were trying to implement. Guns.com quotes National Shooting Sports Foundation Vice President Larry Keene as saying, every independent peer-reviewed study of this nascent patented technology has concluded it is not ready for use as a crime-solving tool. We have held this position and still do that this technology is unreliable, easily defeated, and simply impossible to implement. Interestingly, even proponents of the technology admit that it isn't a slam dunk. SmartGunLaws.org, a website dedicated to disseminating information in favor of more gun control laws, states, ballistic imaging and microstamping technologies have the potential to reduce gun violence by improving the solve rate of gun-related crimes. I see this right up there with the potential of dimwits proving the earth is flat. It's round. <laughs> Whether... <laughs> Whether or not this is simply a grandstanding attempt by politicians or an actual move to implement more gun laws under the guise of safety, I don't know. What is clear is that bad ideas continue to permeate the brains of politicians. Like, that's a surprise. While it's unlikely that this bill will ever go anywhere, it is important that you are aware of it. Even if it suffers the same fate that the majority of bills introduced in Congress do, that being death in committee, there is nothing that would prevent a state from picking up this asinine legislation and running with it. If you're opposed to microstamping on guns, you need to share this video and let people know about this bill. Don't forget to hit that like button, and if you aren't subscribed already, you better make that happen. Be sure to ring that bell so you don't miss an episode. Check out my website, adamkraut.com, and grab a petition. And as always, thanks for watching. The shirts worn in today's episode of The Legal Brief have been provided by Patriot Patch. Click the link in the description to learn more.